Okay, we are um, doing problem number four in 1.6 where I want you to use your graphing calculator to solve the equation graphically for all real solutions. So uh, I'm going to pull up the graphing calculator and we need to go to y equals. I'm going to clear out what I have in there and I'm going to put the equation given which was x cubed Uh, minus 5x squared plus 2x plus 12. All right, so we're going to hit graph. And um, I don't think this window is going to show us everything that we need to see. So to start with zoom 6 to get it in standard. Okay, that's much better. Um, we might just want to zoom in a little bit because it looks like there might be two roots right here and we can't really see them that well. So zoom to enter. All right, this still doesn't give us quite what we want. Um, so at this point I'm going to use the window um, and I know I'm missing some points over here on the right so I'm just going to tell it to give me more view um, so the x max right now is is 2.5 um, I'm going to change that to 6 and hopefully we can get a little bit better picture here so keep in mind that we just want to see um, where it's crossing the x-axis. All right, so it uh, looks like there's two solutions. So we're going to go to second trace, and we're going to use option number two for zero. Now it's going to ask us um, the left side of the point we're trying to find. So um, I'm using my left arrow key right now to try to get it um, over to, it looks like it's about negative 1.2-ish. Alright, we're getting closer here. Should see the cursor soon. Right here, it's telling you where you are. There it is. Alright, so good. Um, left bound. Um, yeah, we want to make sure that our y value is uh, negative on this because you're going to have to act, put in one negative and one positive. So I'm going to hit enter here for my left bound because it's on the left side of the point I want. And on the right arrow, and that's uh, make sure your y value is positive for that one. Um, and then just hit enter for the third. So it's telling me that the zero is negative 1.23 or 1.24 if we round. So that's right here. And notice that y is 0 there. All right, so now I'm going to um, move my cursor to the right. Um, I'm going to trace, actually, and move along to the right. I want to get over to where the other 0 is, which is right here. Okay, it's finally in view. Um, okay, so it looks like at about three, we have a zero. Because right there, uh, y is, is negative, negative. Um, we might want to zoom in on that a little bit. Um, so let's change our window again. I'm just concerned that maybe um, there are two zeros there. So we know that our zero is about three. So let's just look at between 2.5 and 
Okay, yeah, we can see that there are going to be two there. Um, so second trace and two for the zeros. Uh, we want a little bit to the left of the zero, so make sure y is positive. That should work right there. And then a little bit to the right. So in this case, we want y to be negative. There's y zero. Oh, actually, we have our answer right there. Um, but I'll just I'll just uh, continue what I'm doing. So okay, y is negative now. Enter, and then enter again. So our zero, one of our zeros is three, and then I suspect that there's another one about right here. Um, so I'm going to do second trace number two for zero um, and left bound this time my left bound is going to be negative I'm going to just get a little bit closer to the point alright I'm going to hit enter there and now I want my right bound should be positive it's going to be to the right of my zero there we go enter and enter again all right, so there's a third one at 3.23. So this one was really tricky because it didn't really look like there were um, three zeros. It looked like there were only two. Uh, so let's look at this picture again. If we do zoom six, we go back to um, negative 10 to 10. Um, so if you first look at this, it looks like there's just a zero here and one here. So you have to use the window um, to kind of zoom in around that one place, you know, it's right around three. So you want to just limit your x values to be like um, a little bit to the left of three and a little bit to the right. So between like two and four um, would be good, good places to start so you can really zoom in there.